Bonjour, bonjour, messieurs and mademoiselles. Today we are talking about infectious diseases. Okay, so the vocabulary that you need to know. You need to know, of course, what a disease is. Disease is a pathological condition of the body, parts such as tissue characterized by identifiable groups of signs and symptoms. What a disease is. An infectious disease is a disease that is caused by an infectious agent such as bacterium, viruses, protozoan, or fungus that can be passed on to others. Now that is not only to other people, but potentially other animals as well. An infection occurs when an infectious agent enters the body and begins to reproduce. Now this may or may not lead to a disease, so just because something has gone in and starts to reproduce, you may not actually see the disease or the signs or the symptoms of it, because your own body might take care of it. Okay, more vocab. Pathogen is an infectious agent cause, that causes disease. Now these things can be living or non-living, biotic or abiotic. An example of a non-living or abiotic pathogen would be pollen. I actually um, have an intolerance to pollen. I always tend to get sinus infections when the spring hits because there's lots of pollen in the air. But pollen is not out to get you. But it is something that my body reacts to. So to me, it is a pathogen. A host. A host is a host. It's an organism infected by another organism. Now, we are all hosts right now as you sit there, as you watch this video. But not every organism will cause a disease. You have bacteria in your intestines that actually help you digest, that you want, that they're good. So not all organisms that live inside us are going to be bad. Virulence is the relative ability of an agent to cause rapid and severe disease in a host. So if I say something is more virulent than something else, then this something will cause a more rapid or severe disease than this other pathogen. Okay, the X's, DX, SX, and RX. These are shorthands that you may learn if you go into the pharmacy or a doctor um, educational track. DX is going to be a diagnostic procedure done to identify the infectious agent or disease. We see here we've got some dudes that are over here doing some different tests, and we have it streaked out on a plate. So that's to determine what the infection agent is or what disease. SX is going to be the symptom. So wherever you see me write X, SX, you're going to need to know that those are going to be the symptoms. RX are typically the drugs, the prescriptions, the treatment for the disease or infection. Okay, how infection, how infectious agents cause disease. First thing, they can do poisons such as toxins and enzymes that go throughout your body and destroy your cells and tissues. Secondly, you can have a direct invasion and the destruction of the host cells. All your bases are belong to us. And it can trigger an immune response leading to signs and symptoms of disease. Now, what that means that it causes your own body to fight against itself, which is not a very good thing. Y'all might have heard it as an autoimmune disease. So auto meaning self, immune means your immune response and disease. So it's your own self fighting against you. And some bacteria can cause your body to do that. Phases of infection. Okay, we have the incubation period. is the time between the infection and the appearance of signs and symptoms. The clinical phase is a person experiences typical signs and symptoms of the disease. So, okay, so down here, once we get symptomatic, that's going to be the clinical phase. Then you have the recovery phase which is the symptoms have disappeared, your tissues are healing, and your body's regaining strength, or death. One or the other. So, down here we have our nice little timeline. Exposure to infection to our clinical onset is going to be an incubation period. Then we have our symptomatic or our clinical phase. And then we have recovery or death. Take or death. Classification of infectious diseases by duration. Is it acute, chronic, or latent? Acute means it develops and runs its course quickly. It's acute. It's short. Chronic means that it develops more slowly and it's usually less severe, but it persists longer 
in a more indefinite period. It just kind of keeps going and going and going and going and going. Okay. Latent is characterized by a period of no symptoms and then outbreaks and then no symptoms and then outbreaks. So you may have these latent periods of showing no symptoms. Classification of infectious disease by location. It can be local, which is confined to a specific area, or it can be systemic, which is a generalized illness that infects most of the body with pathogens distributed widely throughout the whole tissue. Local, local, systemic, all over. Timing, you can have the primary infection, which is the very first infection, or you can have a secondary infection, which the infection occurs in a person weakened by a primary infection. So you have this disease going on, and then you might have this, this, and this as well. So say you have mono. Mono weakens the immune system. Mono would be your primary, and then you, since your immune system is low, you also get um, strep throat on top of it. Your strep throat would be your secondary. Where in the world is the infection? We have the endemic which is the constant presence of a disease or infectious agent within a geographic area or a given population. So we know it occurs here. An epidemic is a widespread outbreak of the disease in a given population. So it's going rampant, but only in this given location. Pandemic is a worldwide epidemic affecting an especially high portion of the global population. It's gone worldwide! So, just be with. Infectious disease. Where in the world is infectious disease? Infectious disease. Where in the world is infectious disease? See you later. <laughs>